Hello and welcome back to another Big Reactors video. I made this contraption a few days ago, you might remember it. Uh, that video is made unlisted, you can find the link in the video description as reference, but that video contained an error, or perhaps two, so uh, I didn't want to keep that and give you incorrect information. So I made a few new contraptions over here. They are... Uh, the first one is the same as this one, but with the correct numbers. So I will go through that and discuss the mechanics further. So if... and if you didn't see the first video, this is a comparison between Railcraft steam engines, like this one, commercial steam engine, and big reactors. So the... well, the big reactor turbine. And the reason for that is, well, these four engines are perfectly matched to this boiler tank. And this is a low pressure one. And low pressure boiler tanks blocks, they will produce 10 millibuckets of steam per tick. So this entire boiler will produce 80 millibuckets of steam per tick. And these four engines are perfectly balanced. You can see the steam is not moving and they are producing 160 RF per tick. So that's what you get with standard Railcraft setups. However, I did this turbine to really demonstrate the advantage of using that one instead and the in incredible power boost you will get from that one, 900. But it wasn't really cor correct, as I said, so I will discuss a new, slightly modified, just a little, variant over here. And I've also prepared a few other ones that I have tried to optimize as good as I can. And I will go through them all so you can see different sizes and how much energy you really can take out from those. So this one is, as I said, produce 80 millibuckets of steam per tick. I have it here again. And 80 millibuckets of steam will produce 160. So it's a double, double the amount of RF per tick. So remember that when we go through all these. So here I have the same 80 millibuckets. Here we have a high pressure boiler in the same size, but with a high pressure, so you get double. So this is 160 millibuckets of steam. So that should mean that you could get 320 RF per tick. And this, this is the maximum sized low pressure. So 360 millibuckets of steam. And this is the maximum sized high pressure. That's 720 millibuckets of steam. So just remember that the double the amount, then you will get the RF output. You can build the turbine either horizontal or vertical. I don't think there is a, a difference in performance, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't seen any in any way. This one I have built vertically, and that's because the base always has to be five, by, five times five. And I can't really do that when uh, and the, the, by doing this, I can make it one block shorter, so it will require less material to, to build. Um, it is also perfectly balanced to the boiler tank, or to the boiler output. And we can get 887 RPMs, and that will give us 903 RF per tick. Remember that at 900 and 1800 the uh, turbine is as efficient as it can be. So we'll always aim for 1800, but with this low amount of steam, only 80 mil buckets, then we can't get it to speed up to 1800. At least I haven't been able to. So I think this is the maximum output you can get from this small boiler, and you can compare this with the 160 that we got from the engines. Another thing that you might see is that I have limited the flow rate. Well, 
The boiler will output 80 and it's perfectly balanced, so why why should I limit it? Well, I it seems like the steam comes in bursts and by doing this the uh, RPM are more steady and to me it seems like the RF output is slightly higher but I I don't think it's a big difference but it's slightly higher I think at least it's more stable so it's easier to see where uh, where it will settle down if we have a sweet spot so this is quite efficient we're almost at 900 and we're getting great output and I have prepared all the signs over here that will summarize so you can pause the video and you can you can check the, the setup I have. And another thing I want to mention is that I have used, you can use a lot of these blocks. You can use gold and iron and, and uh, a lot of other things. And that kind of depends on the, on the mod pack that you have. For example, you have fluxed electrum instead of electrum. Oh, where is it? Here. The difference is that the electrum block is from thermal foundation, so you will have that in any big reactor mod pack. But the fluxed electrum block is from redstone arsenal, and that's perhaps not in all, all the blocks. So I only used those that are guaranteed. The fluxed electrum is slightly better than the electrum, so uh, you might get better numbers if you tweak these builds. But um, use them as a reference anyway. And one thing to know when we're talking about these coils is that the better or the higher quality of, of a metal block that you will use, then you will get a, a more efficient turbine, you will get more RF output. So if I were to use only three iron blocks, then uh, I will get a lot, a lot less RF per tick out from this. They also, there is quite advanced math behind it, so, uh, and I haven't calculated these, I have tried, and I have tried to calculate, so I have a rough number, and then I try to verify it, and I have tweaked them a little, but generally, generally, you will use Enderium, because it's high tier, but, and, um, and it's in every mod pack that you will uh, find big reactors in. Well, it should be it anyway. <laughs> and it's a high tier and it's kind of easy to craft because it's nothing really strange. You need Enderium, uh, Ender Pearls and Pyrothium and there's like pretty standard material stuff, but still quite late tier. The Ludicrite block, that is the highest tier. Then you will need Nether Stars. So, and plutonium, which will require you to have a, a big reactor running to refine cyanide, I think. No, it is in the cyanide reprocessor, and you will use cyanide to, to do that. So, it's a later tier, and it can even be disabled in some mod packs, since... Um, so, I have two setups over there, using one of each, so you can compare them. Okay, let's move on. I think that's everything you need to know. If you need help to build these, then you can check the old video as uh, in the video description, or I will make a new one. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to this one. So this is double the amount of steam compared to the last one. It's a high pressure one. So we will get 160 mill buckets of steam. And uh, I've done the same thing here, I limited it, and as you can see, we are in perfect balance between boiler and turbine. We are running this one in roughly double the speed, and we're getting slightly above double the RF output. And I have the same setup in here, three coil blocks of Enderium, same as over here but I have a few more turbine blades. You will need one blade per 25 millibuckets of steam. 
So this one has seven blades because that will take me slightly above 160 millibuckets of steam per tick. So that's... Uh, and yes, one more thing. The more blades and shafts you have in the in the setup, you will get some uh, some loss. But I tried this and it's not that much. If you compare this one that has three blades, right? Yeah, we can actually destroy it. Oh, it had four blades. I didn't update the sign. But the difference is very small. So if we try to boost this up again. And now I think we are balanced once again. Uh, as you can see, we're getting the same output anyway. So with one more blade, I got from 75 to 100 millibuckets. So those five extra, but the added weight is kind of the counterweight. So net gain is none in this setup. So I have 903 in that one. And here I had a lot more blades and shafts and it's only four RF per tick. So it's not critical to have the perfect amount of blades, but the coils are much more important. However, this setup is also smaller, so that's, that's good. Okay, we covered this one. Seven blades, three enderium, and we're getting slightly more than double the output as the old one. So then let's jump up to this max sized uh, low pressure boiler. So also in perfect balance and this one is running at almost 1800 RPM. So it's in a really good balance and now my energy cell just filled up. This one has one, two, three, four, six enderium blocks and one electrum. I, if I used one more electri uh, enderium instead of the electrum, well, instead of the electrum one, I actually lost efficiency because they have some uh, drag in the in the coil, and if you don't have the power to boost, then you will lose efficiency. So uh, exchanging that last one to the enderium block made made us run at close to 1800 and get a slightly higher output than the first design I did. So 39.94 RF per tick from a maximum sized low pressure boiler. Okay, we have two more designs to go through and both of these are maximum sized high pressure. So we're getting 720 millibuckets per tick of steam. You can see I've also balanced it. And this one is also full. It goes quite quickly with this one. And it doesn't really matter if you have 28 or 29. Perhaps there's a, a few RF per tick difference, but it doesn't really make any difference. So 13 enderium blocks of to make the coils. We have two blocks or two coil two coils i guess you can say so uh, and four blades and it's uh, 28 or 29 anyway just calculate with 25 per blade and you should be fine so we're running slightly too high and you perhaps you can modify this to be slightly more efficient but not by much i think so once again, here are the numbers for, for this turbine. And let's move on to the last one where I used Ludicrite, Ludicrite instead of Enderium blocks. And you will get a higher RF per tick output per block, but they also have more drag, so they will... I won't need as many, so I have two less in this one. But the rest is the same, the size is the same, and uh, the boiler is the same. 
but the difference in energy output from 8400 8, we went up to 9600 so and this one is also not perfectly balanced i tried to rebalance it with enderium and stuff but i really wasn't able to increase the the power output perhaps you can you can tell me but it's almost perfectly balanced and if you compare this number 9623 rf per tick and you compare that with what you will get if you used steam engines then you are uh, yeah then you should be happy because you will only get like 1400 40 rf per tick if you used engines so quite a nice boost so those are the five designs i wanted to go through and this one should have a better it should have correct numbers and not not like the old one but the design is practically the same okay i hope this can help if you have any more suggestions on what to cover for regarding big reactors feel free to leave a comment and uh, i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye